Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is Sunshine on Leith, episode 48. Sunshine on Leith is the series with FM18 where we're trying to get Edinburgh's Hibernian FC to win some silverware and bring sunshine to Leith. Let's look at it. We are ready to play Aberdeen today. Let's just quickly look at what's happened between last time and this time. Last time we were here, we played Inter and Hearts. Uh, no, sorry, played uh, yes, Inter and Hearts. Then I was going to play St. Mirren Dundee United, but then I thought, you know, St. Mirren's just a, a lower league team, and um, it may not be all that interesting. So I didn't. Uh, I went ahead and played them myself, 3-0 against St. Mirren, so we're through to the, the Cup semi-final. Uh, unfortunately, we're through to the Cup semi-final against Celtic, so that's going to be tricky. Uh, then we beat Dundee United 3-0, Ross County 2-0, Dundee United again 4-1, and Kilmarnock 5-3 with Adrian Cotton grabbing all five goals. Okay, all five goals. He has... Uh, replaced Guidetti in a most impressive way. 15 games, 22 goals. Um, just outstanding. He's been so good. Um, let's have a quick look at the team. Team, team, team. There we go. Which will be Broadway, Crane, Ambrose, Hamblo Hanlon, and Brown, Agor behind McGinn, McGeech, Melendo, and Smith and Cotton up front. Um, actually, I'm wondering, do I want Smith or do I want Slivka? That's a really tough question. Hmm. I think we'll give Smith one more chance. And then we'll go back to Slivka if he doesn't perform. All right. It is time... Just a couple. It is time to do the stupid tunnel interview. There we go. All right. I missed, I seem to have missed one game because I'm sure that we played Celtic in that. Oh, in that set of matches. And, um... Sorry, I was just watching the, the action. We took on Celtic and drew them nil-nil at their park. Um, not ideal, but we actually managed to, to hold them to a draw, uh, which is pretty good, and leaves us, as you can see, uh... At the moment, eight points behind, only because they have a game in hand, and we are, um, ooh, and we are trying to catch it up. We will have one more chance at Celtic before the end of the season, which will be another six-pointer. If if one of the other teams can raise themselves up and manage to beat them as well, then if we can beat them probably at home in the final game that we play with them, we could actually end up um, beating them. But first we have to beat Aberdeen. Oh, that's the problem. Why are we on counter? It was left over after the Celtic match. There you go, Melendo with the goal. Nicely set up. That's, I think, his second goal with Hibernian. Which is nice. He's been playing very well for us. I'm quite glad that we brought him in. Agor, Smith, Melendo in the back of the net. Hmm. There 
we go. McGinn finds Melendo. Gets Smith. Who scores? My goodness, what a shot. And we've got the lead. That's nice to see. They've got more chances, but we've got more goals. I'll take that. I know which I'd rather have. What a shot. I mean, the goalie didn't even move. Mm hmm. Uh, let's, yeah. Just keep your pants on, buddy. Still diffused, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Oops. Thought we took it off of him there for a second, but then he got it back. Ooh, good shot. of a dull game. Uh, let's let Chenoth play the last 10 minutes. He's supposed to be a target man. Um, Slivka can get some playing time. And Poyet for the yellow card. Job. Crane picks it up. Fires it forward for Cotton. Can he get something to happen before he goes off? He does! Sets up Smith's second goal. That's what we wanted. That's what we needed. Beautifully done. Okay, Slivka through for Melendo. His ball is off one of the Aberdeen players and comes back. Thompson. Kasim. McGinn steals. Smith. Cannot find anybody. And the game is over. We'll call that a happy win. Hooray, hurrah. Well done, lads. It was a good win for us. Happy with that. Thank you very much. Good job. Super duper, and we're back to six points behind Celtic. Really, the only difference between us is that we have three draws where they have three wins. That's the six points. Rangers are basically out of it at this point. I mean, they're 17 points back of us. They're not going to catch us in the five games remaining, obviously. So, oops, that didn't work very well. I want this a little higher. There we go. Ah... Uh, so yeah, things are going well in that sense. Uh, la la la. Went down and had to make some changes. Got them down. Got them a great time to score. Cam hit a small game. Classy Smith. Premiership prepares for next stage. League, league table. Here's the split. Partick makes it in. St. Johnston doesn't. Dundee and Dundee United in the bottom half. So...
there's still a little bit of excitement between Hearts and Rangers as to see whether or not Hearts can make the uh, Europa League. But basically, it's down to uh, Celtic and us to see who gets through to the um, who gets through to the final winning. Now, I believe our next game is yes, Hibernian versus Celtic in the Scottish Cup semi-final, which we're probably going to lose. Let's be honest. What am I waiting? What am I waiting for? I'll I'll let you go, and I'll see you in a minute or so. Welcome back. It's time for the Celtic match. Uh, the team is unchanged from last time, uh, except for Kutzi coming in for Hanlon. Uh, otherwise, it is unchanged. Uh, Broadfade, Crane, Ambrose, Kutzi, Brown, Agor, Bjorn, McGinn, McGee, Melindo, Smith, and Gotten up front. Away we go. We are at Hampton Park for this one, a sold-out match. S uh, Celtic are slightly favoured. They're six to four. We're thirteen to eight, so it couldn't really be much closer in terms of the uh, in terms of the odds. Hmm. Okay. actually going to go counter today but because that's what got us our nil nil draw last time I'm hoping we can do at least that well today oh good save Okay, Agor finds McGeech, Melendo, Agor, playing it around in the midfield, Brown, McGeech, inside from again, out wide for Crane, can Crane beat past two men, not quite, well he does, but his cra cross isn't great, Smith scores, ah, I love it when people are on fire. We're off to a good start. They've definitely brought their A team. All their best players are in the lineup. I haven't mentioned it, but obviously we're in the black. Celtic in the green. Well wide. Come on, boys. Just hold on to this lead. Got the edge in possession. Oh, dear. That's Kieran Trippier, by the way, playing on the right back. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. That's bad.
They'll probably come out firing on all cylinders and score four goals now. That's the way it usually seems to go with Celtic. Celtic on the ball. This is bad news. This is bad news. Cleared. Well, didn't expect that. I think it's time to make some changes. McGeech is... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, you can become an anchor man. Actually, you can become a defensive, a ball-winning midfielder on support and be replaced by Poyet. No, you're, you're you're missing the point here. There we go. Um, and we'll leave one just in case we need to change just before the uh, extra time. Oh, poo! What extra time? Stolen, Melendo. It's it. No, it isn't. Ugh, that's too bad. I really thought for a second it was in there. <sighs> Cotton, come on, buddy. Smith steals. Nobody there. Poyet recovers. Brown. Oh, nice touch inside to Melendo. Melendo to McGinn to Slivka. Can't get his ball through. Poyet recovers. Slivka. Smith. Brown. Race. Ball. It's in. Cotton at the back post. And it's a draw again. And we're out shooting them and out possessing them. And we've got a chance here. Oh my, I'm having a hard time figuring out what to do here. I'm going to get fresh legs in the midfield. That's not what I wanted. I want you there. Alright, Scotty, get in there and see if you can give us something. got a chance. We still have the possession edge. The shots are even. McGinn steals. Slivka. Cotton. Can't get through. McGinn can't recover. Slivka. McGinn. Cotton through. Off the post. And then he scores! Cotton scores to make it 3-2. Oh my. Oh my. This is lovely. Come on, boys. Oh, 
Uh oh. Nope, cleared. Cotton's there. Heads it on. Oops. Off the bar. Whew. Slivka, crane. Inside to no one. Griffiths taken off and by Kutsi. Kutsi is Smith. Smith to Cotton. Cotton to the back of the net with the hat trick. Oh yeah. can't believe we put four goals past Hune. He's been so good against us. And you have to remember, Celtic have a salary um, salary budget of 40 million. Okay, 40 million. We have a salary budget of 5 million. So, yeah. Yes, I know Cammy Smith has got a knock. There's nothing I can do about it, so he's going to have to cope. Come on, boys. Ten minutes now. Five minutes. My garden with the fifth goal. My goodness. We're going to win this and handily. Brown jumps into the box. Easy cross from a garden with the left footed volley, and it's a nice goal. Five to two over Celtic. That's just incredible. It's just. <laughs> That's <laughs> incredible. Poyet for Cotton. Cotton for Slivka. Uh, not Slivka, it's Smith. Smith keeps running, trying. McGarton. Crane. Oh, <laughs> that was in two for a second. Slivka, we're still coming here. Cotton. Crane, again. And again. And no, the goalkeeper picks it up this time. Oh, and he's injured. Oh, dear. That's not good. Come on, ref. Why haven't you let somebody on? Hmm. There you go. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm curious to see whether he's actually been injured. That would be something. I mean, I don't really want him to be injured, but... That was outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. My goodness. We've got a very good chance now to win the cup. I don't want to comment on that. That's fine. That's fine. We got. Hey, sweet. A little extra money, too. Very nice. Very, very nice. 25 goals and 19 appearances for Cotton. I'd call that a pretty good setup. Where are we going to come back? Let's have a look at the schedule. Oh, well, it's obvious what we have to do, isn't it? Celtic and the Scottish Cup final. I mean... What else could we do? Celtic will be the game that decides whether or not we catch them this season. Assuming we've gotten managed to get close to them, that one of these teams can beat them. Rangers might beat them. Um, 
But if one of these teams can beat them, and then we can beat them, we will be tied for points, which means they'll probably win on goal difference. But look how many goals we've got. We're only one goal behind them. The problem we've given up is 20 more. So we're not close on goal difference. We're really not going to win this, but it's going to be awful close, and I'm pretty pleased about that. So we'll be back for that Celtic match, and I didn't mention, but the other two teams left in the Scottish Cup um, are Hamilton and... I can't remember the other one, but they're both um, championship teams. So I should have a very good chance of uh, holding on to my title as the cup holder. Um, and since we won the League Cup, that'll give us a double. So we're in, we're in good shape here. The question is, can we make the treble? It's going to be tough, but we've got as, big, as good a chance as we've ever had. I hope you've enjoyed the show. Thank you very much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe if you're not already. And um, I hope you're having a great day. Take care.